Sarah had 10 more 50 cent coins than $1 coins. After she exchanged all the 50 cent coins for $1 coins, she had 65 $1 coins altogether. How many $1 coins did she have at first? So we know that Sarah had 10 more 50 cent coins than $1 coins. So to draw the model, the 50 cent coins would be longer than the $1 coin by 10. Now after she exchanged all the 50 cent coins for $1 coins, she had 65 $1 coins all together. So firstly, we can actually know that this 10 50 cent coins, 10 times 50 cents, will give us a total of $5, which means that it can be changed into 5 $1 coins. So this will give me 5, a value of $5. So she had 65 dollars. 65 $1 coins, which means that this is actually equivalent to $65. So the first thing I'll do is using $65 minus $5 to give me $60. So I know that this remaining model would give me a value of $60. So if the empty model is to, rep because this is in terms of quantity, if there's, there's one 50 cent coin, there will also be one dollar, a uh, one, one dollar coin. So the value would be one dollar plus 50 cents, which gives us one dollar and 50 cents. That's to, that is if every, if the empty model actually represents one. But I'm supposed to get a total value of sixty dollars, which means that I need to use $60 divided by $1.50 to know how many sets of these blue models do I have. And the answer is 40. That is to say, this model represents 40 and this also represents 40. So the question asks, how many $1 coins did she have at first? The answer would be 40.